Rockstar. This is Rockstar 2800 with Smut Free TV, the hottest content in these internet streets. Make sure you tune in, like, comment, subscribe, get your mind right. There's an ATL in the building, you understand me? Um, what's happening, what's happening? Let me add you what's real quick. Um, let me make you a moderator. Okay, uh, hold on, before we get started, let's ping up, let's get people up in this thing. Uh, mm -hmm. We're live right now, YouTube, Smut Free TV, Hip Hop Trends Clubhouse. Uh, we're getting on this Young Thug interrogation leaks. Two hour interrogation leaked. Don't know why it's two hours, but it's two hours because this man wanted to talk, obviously. Uh, uh, got, got, got the man, the man behind the audio who got the drop on the audio who leaked it first. Live and direct right here with us right now. Hip Hop Lives in ATL. Make sure y'all go follow that man. Instagram, his YouTube, all that. He, and he's also blogging for Smut Free. You'll see his name down there. Mr. Metro Atlanta is in the building. What's up, my nigga? What's happening with you? What's happening, man? How hey, you doing I appreciate tonight? that, man. You know, I had to tap in with a club. I was just like the first time, really. No, nah, no, nah, for sure. I, I appreciate you coming on, man. You know, I, we like to get down to the source. We like to get, you know, we don't like the middleman, man. We want to know what's really going on in these streets. You feel me? So, um, me and you been chopping it for a minute now. We've been chopping it for a minute. We got a good rapport with each other. Um, I think oh, you God. understand what I'm trying to do. I kind of see what you trying to do with your shit. You know what I'm saying? So, we kind of teamed up and, you know, we working together on this type of shit, right? Oh my uh, God, man, that's my free. Uh, when you came to me with this information, I told you, I said, look, I can't personally break it myself because that's not, I'm not no paperwork nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? If it, if a nigga yeah. post it, I'm going I'm to repost it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out my guy, Byron Blake. You know what I'm saying? He's the one who leaked the grievances, uh, the grievance letter, the Seti Nash shit, all that on 1090 Jake and all that. He posted it, I just reposted it. I'm not here to break news, you feel me? But I, I will help you surface, re surface, get it around, put it in a mix, you know what I'm saying? I'm all for that, right? For sure. For sure. Now, how did you get dry? How did you catch wind of this audio and, you know, what was your, in, like, of you getting your hands on it? Like, did you have intentions of putting it out yourself? Like, tell us how this came about. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I seen on, uh, I think that was all hip hop, and on Hip Hop DX they posted an article on uh, October twenty third that um, Judge Glanville decided to let the prosecutors use a two hour video of Young Thug talking. I think it's just audio, you know, him basically doing the interrogation. So like. You know, they going to let the prosecutors use this. I didn't hear nothing in that. Thug ain't no snitch. He ain't do nothing wrong. Let me say that. But I just said, shit, let me find out what that is. Let me get the tape and find out what happened. And it ain't like I was trying to shop it around. I just, you know, I felt like, you know, like I'm getting 20, 30 likes. I got a new platform. I ain't really been doing it. So I'm just trying to get it out there. And show niggas thug ain't no snitch. He ain't said nothing wrong. No, no, for sure. So that's your whole take on the whole interrogation video. Because you have listened to it in a whole, you know, that's your content as of now. You know, yeah, you're yeah, the one yeah. who broke this story. Um, uh, okay, now let's get to it. You get your hands on it, right? You get your hands yeah, on it. When you, when you, when you hear it, like, first of all, it being two hours long, what does that tell you? Like, was he talking too much or what? Man, I'm going to let y'all decide. But, like, you know, uh, omerta is one word. Hold on. Am I breaking nah, up? Nah, we here. Okay, yeah. Omerta, that's one word, man. You know. Okay. I ain't judging no nigga on what he did or what he didn't do. But, like... If you ask for your lawyer, you know, I had an attorney tell me it's never, never a, a reason why you should speak to the police. Even if you think you're smart, you got this old college educated uh, 
you know, might be a detective or a DA or a prosecutor. These people watching this shit, like, it's never no reason to be saying nothing. I wouldn't give them 10 minutes. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. Now, um, I brought you in here tonight so we could really, you know, dissect certain certain parts of the shit, you know. I know you got a couple clips on hand. Uh, you oh, know, yeah, you want to... Yeah. You know, break it down for us what the clip is about and go into it before you play it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, um, like I say, man, I got to say it again. Like, Young Thug ain't no snitch, man. But it's a lot in this shit, you know. This this one of the only times I heard somebody sit in the interrogation room. He might have said, like, 40, 30, 40 names. But he spoke up for them niggas. He said, no, they not gang members. I gave them jobs. I bought people houses and cars. This one, a producer, you know, he said, Pee Wee didn't. I don't think he shot. He was cool. He spoke up for everybody. That's almost like that young and they shit. But he did say some shit that's questionable in there. Can we agree on that? You say what now? He did say some shit that was questionable in there. Can we agree on that? Yeah, he yeah he said some shit I wouldn't have said, but I mean, see, and I don't know, I can't speak for another nigga, man. I can't. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Again. So that's why I said let's go ahead and play a clip. You know what I'm saying? A good two to three minute clip. You know, a good one that we have a discussion about that, and you know, we just get it to play the concert throughout the night. But uh, sure. hip hop. Lives in ATL is definitely in the building, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you go follow his blog on Instagram. Make sure you follow the IG. Subscribe. That's the video up there. That's only part one of the two-hour investigation up top. I mean, interrogation up top. It's a whole nother hour that I think. Did you drop it already? You oh, dropped yeah, the second one? It's out. Okay. Right now. So he dropped both the hours. You know what I'm saying? The full two-hour interrogations. So we about to go through, you know what I'm saying, some of the audio. We ain't going to go through all of it, but he going to play certain clips, and then we'll discuss, talk, have a question about it. What you going to say, Thrasher? I'll see you off the mic. Uh, no, no, I was just going to say, uh, was, there, was there one that leaked previous to this that was like, I don't know, because I didn't hear what was going on beforehand. I know Bolo, was, uh, he posted a link last night. I don't know if he told you. But that one, it was like, I don't know. It just seemed like all choppy and stuff. It didn't seem like it was the same shit. Like, I don't know. I don't know if motherfuckers caught wind of it early. And hey, was there another one out, uh, uh, Reese? Was there another one out? Nah, from what I know, um, he gave this one interview 2015. It's a couple of days after the shoot. And other than that, he he been silent. Okay, okay. Well, what clip you about to play for us right now? So this one here... Uh, he basically saying that he don't fuck with Birdman and he's cool with Lil Wayne, which go against everything they saying. They trying to say that he sent Pee Wee to shoot at Wayne, but he's saying, no, I, I fuck with Wayne. Okay. So oh, for sure. So make sure y'all mute up, man. We about to play this clip right now, man. Shout out Hip Hop Lives in ATL, man. Live right now, Smut Free TV, Clubhouse, Hip Hop Trends, man. We tuned in. Oh, you love to talk about in your friends and your phone? Talk about it. Okay, so you don't give a shout out to like Birdman or. I shout out Birdman. I shout out Birdman. I shout out Lil Wayne before. Still there. I put him here the other day and shout out to him. I guess he's seen that thing just finally just putting his head like, okay, this little boy don't hate me. This nigga's about to think I hate him. I'm like, bro. I don't want to do this fool. He said he doing this stuff. After this album. And Bird ain't make no better. Damn, fuck that Bird, man. I can't believe you're saying that, man. What the fuck, Bird? Yeah. That album was fine. Then he don't like to stay on. Like, bro. Go ahead. So, is he, is he saying fuck Birdman in that? Yeah, man. It sounds like he's saying, 
Birdman owe Wayne thirty million, and he agreed that he really owes him some money. So it's like he know he wrong. You know, I can't stand up with the nigga if he he owing niggas money. Like fuck that nigga. I fuck, I, I agree with Wayne. And what year is this? So this twenty fifteen, like maybe three four days after that shoot. But so at the time he still plugged in with Birdman though, right? He he Birdman still co-signing them at this point, right? I think so. See, I, I don't know when, but they it sounded like he was never signed to him, but yeah, I guess they were still fucking. No, Birdman said he was never signed. Birdman confirmed it. He said he never okay. signed your thug. You know what I'm saying? He never had no paperwork with him. But till this day, you know, Birdman still shouted. But it makes sense like why he didn't sign with Birdman now by him saying that and he ended up doing his own deal with 300. Real shit. So uh, that's that's interesting right there. You know, that he would even tell the police, fuck Bird. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, nigga, you talking too much, cuz, of this motherfucker. The police can't even believe it. The police, like, huh? Fuck Bird. <laughs> fuck. That shit crazy, man. Um, like I said, man, I got Hip Hop Lives in ATL. This is the man behind the Young Thug interrogation audio that has leaked today a two-hour interrogation. You know what I'm saying? That's on his YouTube at the top. You see the link at the top. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, go follow his blog on Instagram. Like I said, he also blogs for Smut Free TV. You feel me? So shout out Hip Hop Lives, lives in ATL, man. You know what I'm saying? Um... Interesting enough, this is the man who sent me the Baby Jade, told me that Baby Jade had reposted. So, oh, yeah. So, so, <laughs> ATL lives in hip hop. He's the one who reposted the baby, the whack getting on Baby Jade shit. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that bro, shit that went shit. up, bro. And Baby Jade ended up reposting it to her, her IG. And when I mean the comments was unbelievable. And she she took it down. Did she not? And I think she stopped the comments first. Yeah, then yeah, she yeah. took it down. And when you she know, took it down, I took it down too. Cause like, I'm t you don't understand, bro. Folks was hitting my DM like they weren't they weren't feeling wet. That's that's about as, as much as I can say. I, I respect the nigga, but damn, bro, that shit. Yeah, that shit went up. Yeah, that's. Hey, Rob. What the yeah. talking about? Man, you gotta go listen to the audio, man. We ain't Is it bad? It. Nah, nah. I mean, it's really up to your opinion on what you think is bad or not. To me, a two-hour interrogation is bad. Nah, really? all right, but look, but look. We, you, you, we street niggas, like we from the same listen, cloth listen, of area. Like niggas, listen, was he was he bro, wrong? Like would he bro, get beat up by the homies? Bro, two hours. We're not supposed to be talking for two hours. You in the wrong off top. But was he like I'm saying though? What can I say? But that's what I'm saying. We breaking it down. We breaking it down. Nah, my nigga. Uh, uh, even even nah. uh, my boy Hip Hop uh, lives in ATL up here. He's saying that he's not saying that he's a snitch. He he he's putting this video out for y'all to hear that he not telling. Even though he might have said some shit that's questionable in there. Um, I don't know if he uh, ATL. I think we was talking on live earlier. You were saying that uh, he told. Them that uh, Pee Wee used to sell weed to Lil Wayne. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why? Why was that even brought up? Man, that ain't that ain't no criminal. I mean, I, I'm gonna keep it a bean. Listen, that is that is putting somebody in a criminal case. Don't yeah, get that's up. that's that's but time. But at the same time, so if, if, I say like, I it, if, if you if you, if you my fault, bro. If I say I sold ten thirds of weed. And the motherfucker said, "Well, how much we give you? Shit, a gram." Yeah, but What's then so them it? niggas, but no, then they could turn, they, but peep game, to, bro, but peep game, they could turn around and be like this though. They could be like this though. Peep this. They could be like, "All right, well, you selling weed, so now we finna put you in jail for selling weed." And now listen, unless you tell us, unless you tell us some more information. You a street nigga. Oh, my mama, they could do that. No, listen, you right, brother. like you just said, you a street nigga, bro. If somebody said I bought some weed from people. Before they go arrest that man on hearsay, we have to bust you with some weed or get a search warrant to come into wherever you at to see if you really holding weed. Nah, nah, nah. I ain't tripping off that. What I'm, think, about, what I'm about to say is, I think the nigga was just in a situation where the nigga was just like, oh, nah, the nigga know because he sold him weed. 
And he yeah, probably I was mean, just talking, but he probably was just talking too much. Like, come on, cut yeah, I mean, that up. too, but that, I mean, that right there, I'm just saying, even when, like, if he would have said, oh, yeah, oh, I know Pee Wee said, yeah, he used to sell the nigga wearing pistols. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that. Hold up now. Yeah, that's bad. Pistols and weed is, you know what I'm saying? Like, because like I said, bro, you can't really measure up, oh, well, how much did the gun weigh? Nah, I sold that nigga a gram. But like, KK, KK. Will you tell the police you you saw the niggas for weed? Or you, uh, I told I told I told the police I told something. something like <laughs> no, that, no. Bro. Would you tell them that a homie? Would you tell the homie that that a homie saw? Oh, nah. nah, nah. See, okay. that's what it is. Came right there. No, 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 no. I'm with y'all for sure. I'm just saying though, no, like I didn't really. I don't know what the context of the whole. Oh no, people used to just sell weed to win. I don't like. I don't know the context of it. Like he just walking in there. Because Pee Wee shot up allegedly shot up the tour bus so it still tied him to Wayne in, wait, in a way no 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 they talking about the other peewee peewee roscoe oh, yeah, not long what they talking about the, yeah, the nigga that's with the uh slime nigga. Yeah, no 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 but, I get, I get. and i'm, I'm thinking i'm thinking i'm thinking that niggas just like how how he know him like how he know exactly. each other. like oh no nah, he just sold him some weed that's it but like that's still like kind of like Putting him in the circle of the situation, yeah, like nah, that, yeah, you, now he too close to it. Nah, you, you putting the nigga around. Um, so what you was gonna say, uh, hip hop lives? Yeah, yeah, it sounded like um, he was basically trying to say they was real cool. He used to sell Wayne weed and shit. I don't know what happened. I don't know if he really shot the shit, shot the bus up, and he was like, um, but see when they got that gang charge on there, and then you talking about one person sold, you're like. Oh, that's too much. So the first, so the first clip he just played right now. He just played basically. Uh, Thug is saying fuck Birdman. He owe Wayne some money. You know what I'm saying? I ain't with that type shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, so nah, that, nah, listening, listening to that, I can't, I can't say I believe that. Mm. Because my first case, I called with the homie. Before they showed me that they had pictures and all that shit of me with the homie. First thing I tell them is, I don't know that nigga, fuck that nigga. Yeah, I yeah. Cry, I told the police, nigga, I told the police that the homie Raylo was a op, nigga. I don't fucking cut, nigga, nigga from any hood. They're like, what? This way? I'm like, bro, I ain't never fucked with her. What? That nigga came right back in like 30 minutes later. So this ain't you here, mate? So, you know, I don't, I mean, a nigga could be saying that to, you know, throw a nigga off, but, but yeah. her energy didn't, his energy before he left the street didn't, didn't look like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you could tell they, they probably wasn't talking to him, but his energy on the streets wasn't, wasn't fucked that. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, no, for sure. Know. That's why I'm saying at the time, I'm thinking 2015, he, Birdman still co-signing, bringing and him up we, again. Yeah, if we talking about the shoot. And if this interrogation is back from the uh, shooting, then around that time he's saying in this interrogation, "Fuck a nigga, you was running with it, nigga." Still, this when you was at your peak, nigga. That's what I'm saying. I think I think what nigga was trying to do, he was trying to throw it off. Like, nah, I f we fuck with Wayne. I don't fuck with Birdman. Cause you know, you gotta remember, Birdman was going through it with Wayne at that time. So, you know, the nigga could have just been telling some whole ass facade to make it seem like, what, nah, we ain't got no reason to do this. That's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. That's what so that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, two and two coexist. But the one thing that do fuck him over is the fact that it's really alleged that old boy did it. So, like, for you to tie him in that close, it's kind of like, ah, right, it's questionable. What, but at the end, if, you know, I can't really like, say okay, he listen, did anything what wrong. If they, what if they blame it cut for the shooting, right? And he telling them niggas what? Why would why would Pee Wee do that, nigga? He used to exactly, that's, that's like, what I'm saying. Hey, I think that's how he with hitting him with. That's what the I think that's what he's doing. That's how you know what I'm saying it could be that too. Like that, like a nigga got to hear the whole concept, like the whole context of, 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 the, of the conversation type shit to no, know. No, 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 like, you know what I'm saying? No, that shit two hours long. He got it up. That's what I'm saying. It's two no, hours. We, we, gonna, <laughs> we gonna play. We, we playing little clips. We just gonna be playing little clips to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wanna hear that clip? Yeah, yeah, wait, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Play that clip. Uh, hey, wait, well, I, hey, for, hey, hey, hey. If he working for you and all that, hey, I think what niggas gotta start doing now. How we how we dissecting this this, this this topic right here? Instead of just having the whole two hours up. I think whenever y'all are recording this shit or whatever, 
also record the, the timestamps of, of what we going, you know what I'm saying? Because that makes it better. That way, a nigga don't have to go listen to the whole two hours. Like, That's a, a fact. Nigga, you can just go if to a nigga it. Clip, yeah. if, if you clip up all the hot the, 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 the hot topic or the juicy shit in that two-hour interview, Facts. you dig what I'm saying? Facts. And then you come in here with three, four, it, 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 it's going to have the content rolling a little easier. When you got a clip for this, you got, okay, well, here go another clip for right here. Or oh, here go another clip of that. Cause just going right there, listening to two hours, bro. Nigga gotta leave the room and don't come back till tomorrow. Oh God! But this shit right here, though. Me, <laughs> this shit right here, bro. Seriously. All right, beat up, beat up, beat up, beat up. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. What the beef was about? Just being honest. Yeah. Honest. Man to man, man. Well, I really, honestly, but I just can't. I ain't. I'm grown, so I'm not budding on nigga business. But I just ain't sick of saying. Roscoe, like, he really like a cool, he, he, Roscoe the kind of guy you can goddamn like slap, and he'll, he'll like cry, so I really was like, uh -huh. but I'm still not getting that business, and yeah. saying so Roscoe, Roscoe ain't doing that. So Roscoe and Wayne got beef? Fuck no. No. Man, this is what I heard, this, I heard, when they was in the club, this nigga, when, when Roscoe was outside, the police had him detained outside. Of the what club? club? Tell me in Atlanta. You tell me in Atlanta. Here. This happened here? Yeah, it was here. Tell me a compound. Compound. Okay, okay. Go ahead. You know what Wayne was at then? When, when they said, this is what I heard in the streets. Wayne, I mean, the police had Roscoe detained because I guess Wayne was there. Wayne was coming to do a show and he and they was like, they don't want Roscoe to meet him. Roscoe is, I know Birdman. Roscoe know Birdman. Everybody, I'm from Birdman to Atlanta. Birdman, everybody in Atlanta. Birdman is. It's like cool in Atlanta. Everybody eats cool now. So everybody knows them. So they was at the door like anybody that know where man not come in this club. And Roscoe went to the club. But Roscoe hey, Rock, that ain't, ain't Thug talking, guy. homie. I know on. Thug. That ain't Thug talking. That ain't, that ain't his voice, nigga. Man, chill the fuck out, nigga. Yeah, that's on God, bro. Fuck out of here. Nigga. How you gonna say it's not his? Cause nigga. I know the nigga. I talked to the nigga on the phone. Nigga, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why don't you let the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, hold on, hold on. that's bogus, my nigga. Bad, that ain't the uh, voice, Tommy. Calm bro, down. bro, bro, bro. <laughs> you need to calm down, bro. Calm down, no, nigga. Look, my nigga bought this shit straight from Atlanta, homie. Phony, straight from the nigga. motherfucking police talk, department. Nigga, he ain't God, no phony, nigga. nigga. That ain't thug bro, voice, shut, nigga. Bro, be quiet, bro. Move it. I'm on. Hey, you want to run fake content, my nigga? You run that shit. It ain't right? no fucking fake though. content, nigga. Shut up, nigga. The fuck? Go ahead. Hey, bro, explain how you got this motherfucking shit, bro. Bro, that nigga high. Explain how you got this shit, bro. All right, so yeah. A FOIA request. You can put a freedom of information request in. Just how you get anything else, man. Just same shit. Uh, you know, 1090 Jake, he say it all the time. That's, you put in a request on online, they send it to you. It's free. They charge me 65 for this. I got have, the screenshot, got man. I got the fucking screenshot he sent me. He was trying to give me oh, the yeah, body. Like, come on, bro. Like, he ain't got a lot of this nigga down there in Atlanta, too, bro. Like, that sound like thug. Like thug. What the fuck is he talking about? This is 2015. You talking to thug in 2023? Yeah, Shit out. Say thing earlier, but now listening to it, it, it sound like that nigga for sure. That you know, they had like... a hearing about this in in the court, and the judge said that the prosecutor could use this tape against thug. So that means thug and his lawyer had it. I mean, the prosecutor had it and the judge had it. So this ain't like I just. They been talking about this. We been heard that they had this, nigga. We heard months ago about this. It's just now being released because the trial is about to start. Everything has to be revealed now for the fucking DA, the judge, the fucking lawyer got to do their job, nigga. Fuck. This shit is public information. You know, a nigga's up here trying to slander this shit, talking about we running fake. Bro, I wouldn't have did this shit if it wasn't solid. One in a hundred. So just know that. So you got to respect that. If you can't respect that, then nigga stay in the goo, bro. Because I'm not with all that fucking up the content shit, nigga, for your opinion and how you feel. Nigga. We here to conversate, uh, speculate on this shit and get cracking. Now, I wanted to finish the rest of that. I don't know if you paused it, if you put it on a little part, whatever. 
you got a little bit more of that clip. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Oh, yeah, it's right here. But you know, okay, let's me, go. Hey, this make the look good. He ain't really say all this shit was on. Yeah, listen, it's up for public opinion. This is a third party platform, bro. Ain't none of us was there. Nothing. We have the right to freedom of speech, opinion, and, and to say how we feel, whether people agree with it or not. So let's let's keep this shit rocking and rolling. You heard me. They said Ross ain't my manager. Ross ain't my role manager. Um. Roscoe, my brother, and my mama had no damn Roscoe. Yeah. Um, Roscoe. Let, let me ask you this, too, the guy go. Why would, why would Roscoe say you told him to do it? Shoot. Roscoe ain't said a damn thing. You sure? How do you know that? Oh, let me, what are you saying? You gonna take time to go fast? Hey, how long is court? Do we know how long court is? Okay, yeah, we missed the weed part. It's somewhere in there. Okay. But I don't think that's the, you know, that ain't the most important part about that. Okay. He said you don't know if Roscoe did it or not. Yeah. He was in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. To me, to me, it's too much talking, though. Like, it, it was really too much talking, bro. Like, like, I don't understand why he just couldn't wait for his lawyer to get there. That's when I'm, I'm confused on that part. I, I don't know if he thought talking was about to talk. He about to talk his way up out of it, or he thought he's gonna lie and just get out. I don't know what. Yeah, I, I, nah, I ain't gonna hold you though, right? I ain't gonna hold you though, right? And some predicaments like that, like when niggas is talking a lot, it's two reasons. It's either because they trying to talk their way to just go home. They ain't trying to sit in there. That don't mean they telling. Or. They trying, and it sounds like what he doing is just trying to talk his homie out of it. Because he was, I know he was like incorporating in the crime, but they was alleging another nigga did it. And they were trying to get him to pretty much say he did it. But he was just like, nah, they cool. Like, he sold them weed. Like, that's pretty much what he's saying the whole time, if you really kind of listen to it. Nah, I, I hear. I, so, you know, I hear the two saying. hours... You know, the two hours can be literally just because the cops take that long. For me, like, that's really how them terror has been going. Like, when them niggas be trying to talk to the niggas. Yeah, but, a nigga, of, the oh, but listen, a nigga of his statue, they don't have to do that, bro. Give me my lawyer. That's it. That's all. Hey, bro, listen. You think, hey, you think he would have went home that night if he would have said that? Hey, listen. Sometimes when they snatch you up like that, or some just nigga, hey, come here, nigga. We want to. Oh, they want to hold you for, for seven. Bro, they got up to 72 hours, bro, to hold you, bro. That's a fact. And I'm talking about, they, like, they can hold you for that long with no charge, bro. You could just either sit up in that joint or get that shit out the way, cuz. Oh, mom, you're going to be in the county. They're going to release your ass. They're going to give you an OR. And they might call you back if they want to. You know, crazy thing is, they said he wasn't even charged with nothing. He had a, a terroristic threat charge in Decatur. And then Cobb just wanted to talk to him because, you know, that shooting just happened. Sound like, but like I said, that shit sound like throw off too, though. Like, right, right, right. But you know, the jury could be listening. It sound like he really ain't, you know, he said he ain't no blood. Birdman ain't no blood. I take him at his word, you know. Hey, man, my homie ain't no crip. I don't know what y'all talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know that nigga. He ain't never said cuz around me. Maybe y'all know some out. Bro, he had over 300 songs leaked. And he still had a career going. So, what gang member you know this full time got three hundred songs that could just leak? Like, what? You spending all that studio time like buying beats? And, I mean, that man is a rapper. I think his work proved that. Like, he might know niggas. He might be around shit. You know what I mean? It, it don't mean he's no full time game making ass nigga. Like, Nah, you know what they trying to do though. He getting so much money and so much power. They trying to bring it up from what he did before he was a rapper, and that's always gonna be the case. That's always gonna be a scenario when it comes to like us being young black entrepreneurs coming from where we come from. You know, if you got shit that if you got monkeys in the closet, they're like they gonna try to open that bitch up and bring them out. And that's what they trying to do. They trying to ramshack them. All that shit, you know, we all seen this shit happening on the internet. We just wasn't really paying attention. We thought it was rap beat or some some of the niggas. But niggas seen all this shit unfolding, really, to be honest. It's just, it's just crazy because it's at a point in life where a nigga really is 
like you said, a rapper. And he changing lives every day. Yeah, bro. bro, like my like the homie. The, this nigga just went on this nigga just had one of the, the his best years music wise and battle rapping wise, bro. Out of nowhere cut your head with a Rico. Not for no new shit. Not for no shit he just did. Shit he already went to jail for, bro, but because of but because I guess Jersey or whoever picked it up, they dropped it on the nigga. So it's like, what? Oh no, nah, hold on. Now we gonna boom, but it's still like a state joint, like. But that shit just be crazy. Like once you get cracking, 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 they come get at you, cuz for some shit you did a long time ago. And you just gotta you feel me, man up and go handle that shit. Nigga, nigga can't do a gang of bad shit cuz and then have a, a four year run of doing good shit and think them niggas gonna care about that shit, bro. They don't give a fuck about how many lives you changed or nigga who you helped, nigga, or what type of nigga you is now, nigga. Hey, what's up with that shit you did four years ago, bro? Yeah, cuz come give us all money for that. Right, them, them limitations is is, is 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 forever, especially when it comes to a murder type situation. So, you know, money bring a lot of spotlight to a man. You gotta all like look at the Diddy shit. A lot of this Diddy shit has been happening before our eyes. We just never really gave a fuck. We just always listen to the stories and laugh. But now it's unfolding. Like this is gonna be the demise of one of the icons. Like it, it happens to a lot of people. Cause it just. Niggas just can't be doing it wrong, to be honest. You just can't do the, doing no bad. So you so you saying you think he 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 guilty? You talking about you talking about Pup? Thug. I, I, do I think the, uh, Thug guilty? Yeah. Nah, um, I'm gonna keep it a bean. I I ain't no judge and I ain't God, so I'm gonna leave that to the courts to say if a nigga guilty or not. All I can say is, um, you know, our past is always gonna hunt us. That's just really what it is. And that goes for everybody. That ain't for just Thug. That was a general statement. Like, Thug can be 100% guilty. Shit, I hope he get. I mean, I'm sorry, 100% innocent. I hope he 100% innocent. I really hope he is. He can be guilty and still be proven innocent. And I hope that is the case. But I just know for a fact, us coming from where we come from, we do stupid shit and we say stupid shit on the phone sometimes. And you, that shit ain't always in the dark at all. No, for sure. Uh, you got another clip for us? Yeah, so we might as well get into this, man. He was telling some more, uh, some more facts. He said him and Birdman ain't in no game. And before I even say uh, play that, like I didn't know it's your First Amendment right. You could be in a game. You know, you can you can assemble how you want to, like peaceful assembly. Or, you know, illegal protest. I mean, legal protests and all that. That's part of the First Amendment. They say when you uh, commit a crime to further the game, that's when you start getting in charge. He said yeah. he ain't no blood. All right, let's let's he get into right. this. Let's get into this, man. Mute up, mute up, man. We got hip hop lives in here. Hip hop lives in ATL, man. Leaking the thug interrogation. You understand me? Uh, let's get into it. But all y'all, y'all are bloods, right? Like Lil Wayne, you, Amber Man, all y'all. So, I mean, I just don't see why the beef makes sense, though. Blood? Yeah. Blood. That's what y'all say it on the song. That is entertaining, Y'all say it on the song? They got a picture of Birdman on the, on, 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 on the internet. He'll, then he got on, he'll crip and blood. They're like, oh, it'll clown that fool. Hip hop lives in eight. I mean, y'all say it on the song. That shit comes with. That shit comes with that. You ain't come. You telling us that you not a blood that you rapping it in the song? No gang bang. Did Rick Ross get caught up with that bullshit? Him saying he was rapping some gang and he was on TMZ about. No, he got caught up. He got caught up for saying. He said he put Molly in and somebody drank. Ooh, he like said, it. I put Molly in her drink. She forgive me for my. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah, all right. Hey, he did yeah, right. Hey, he, he doing right. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. He's doing shit, right. right. He said, hell no. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, nah, shout out to the He did right 100%. Fuck we good. Man, he ain't no That nigga said, blood. I ain't no blood. blood. Hell no. Hey, that nigga said, what? Hell no. 
man. Everybody in Atlanta know that. Nah, shout out to Thug. Yeah, he doing right. That that right there, you know, kind of. Yeah. And he telling the truth too. Yeah, yeah they not no game breakers. They don't do nothing like that. We don't. We don't game break. Like I said, man, for the people just entering the room, man, y'all know what's going on, man. We live right now. Smut Free TV, Hip Hop Trends Clubhouse. We got Hip Hop Lives and ATL in the building. The man behind the Young Thug interrogation audio two hour audio that has been leaked it is on his youtube page you see the link at the top you understand me follow this man on instagram he also blogs for smut free tv mr metro atlanta himself you understand so, me no. uh it got the you know went through the right channels you know what i'm saying to get this audio it's not no fake audio it's not none of this fake shit y'all y'all think y'all been seeing or hearing whatever this is the real deal you know what I'm saying? We have, you know, we locked in. So, uh, you know, we've been playing clip by clip, just giving y'all little samples. Y'all can go listen to the whole thing on this YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to be doing a reaction to this as well uh, on my page. So, y'all stay tuned. But, uh, yeah, uh, Hip Hop Lives in ATL. He doing his thing. Make sure y'all go tap in with him. Um, For sure, bro. bro. Uh, what's... Uh, you know, your whole thing is you're not labeling him a snitch. You're 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 putting this audio so people can hear that he's not telling, right? Yeah, man. really putting it out in the right context because you know whatever title you give this, however you say it, like I can clip this shit, make a nigga look bad, but I know the jury they they seeing all this, so they need to hear it right. Like, you know, man, Jeffrey, he, man, the nigga had three hundred songs leaked. Like, what gang member you know making 300 songs and then got some more? You know, he was signed to Gucci uh, for five albums through Atlantic. The nigga was signed to uh, 300 when he got locked up. I guess he been had a job, been getting money. He was broke when he was just a gang banger in the hood, but when he got money in the rap game, like, why do y'all think he just banging crazy now? Like, man, Rich, he bought all the sisters' houses. Like, we got to stop. We got to cut that bullshit out, man. And Birdman, Birdman. He, oh, he got a shit on the catalog of music. It's, and they trying to say he a game banger. They got this shit fucked up. That ain't how this go, man. No, for sure. So, so break down your history, man. You you from Atlanta? Yeah, so um, like right now I stay right by Six Flags Drive. Like I play mostly on the west side. So, like Carly Street, right by the Blue Water Food Market, all that shit off Joseph, by Hamilton E. Holmes. That's why I did my shit at. And when I say that, I mean just like running around, meeting folks, going, you know. Yeah, yeah, you always been there. How long you been doing this media? Might have been like about two years. Okay. And what made you want to start, like, because I see, like, Hip hop lives in ATL. You want to shed light on what's going on down south, right? Or what's going on in your city? Yeah, so really on some insider shit. Like, it's a lot of little blogs out here who they reporting on gang members. These niggas ain't rappers. Like, that's why the first two words of my name is hip hop. Because I try to, you know, Thug, he's a hip hop artist, so we can talk about that. But it's a lot of people just reporting street gang shit. So I'm like, we tap in with, uh, you know, I see what you're doing with Smut Free, but it, it's it's heavy on the West Coast, you know, so I'm like, shit, let's team up and get some Atlanta shit going there. You know, South, South of Michigan. Nah, for I mean, sure. Because you got the battles, you know, it's a lot of New York and, and West Coast shit, so. Yeah, no, for sure. No, no, definitely, definitely. Um, Like I said, man, go check out this man's blog. He be posting a lot of exclusive shit. Uh, was you there at the Rollo shit that you sent me? Nah. nah okay, nah. okay. You had people but down right there. Right on the west side too. Like everybody. Okay. Know everybody. Cause no, I seen you. You had some. You had some different footage that you had sent me, and I was like, oh shit, this nigga must have been there. No fuck, no. Okay. For sure. I think for they sure. Yeah, took his social media away, so he kind of. They took Rollo social media away. Well, I mean, well, they I won't let him do his do thing, so he kind of in the shadows right now. I think he's still in the halfway house, and then when he's free, you know, you don't see him everywhere. Mm. Hell yeah, hell yeah. 
Uh, anybody got any questions for this man? You know what I'm saying? Uh, like I said, it's the man behind the Young Thug audio interrogation. Y'all see at the top. We trying to, uh, you know, just keep this shit, you know, on the surface level, man. The where, like, you know, the niggas need to hear what's going on, you know, because a lot of people was, you know, putting false narratives out there. Like I said, it was, um, like I said, I think we heard about this months ago. And they was talking about putting this shit out and they were saying, oh, what he might be telling. Why is it two hours? Why? You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a lot of questioning. A lot of question marks, but I think if you listen to it fully and thir- thoroughly, uh, you'll see. Because from what I'm hearing on this clip that we just heard, you know, he's not claiming to be nothing. You know, they're putting that on him. Ain't you a blood? Ain't y'all bloods? He's like, what? Huh? Hell no. Fuck. That's entertainment. <laughs> I think yeah. sometimes it, it, it be like kind of like Russia roulette a little bit because when you when you in an interrogation room hit with some charges, on the one hand you be, you trying to figure out what the fuck exactly do they got against you. On the other hand, that's why sometimes it goes so long because a nigga trying to you know what I mean cipher like what exactly is they talking about and what do they got. You know what I'm saying. And on the other hand, at times, you know what I'm saying. You know. The police will literally sit there after you didn't ask for an attorney. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, uh, they still keep on trying to question you. They'll lead them up, you know what I'm saying? Lead a motherfucking room and, and, and have you and that motherfucker sitting for hours to try to come back and peck at you and all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they play all kind of different games and uh, trick boxes and shit, though. But the thing is, he did, he did the most important part, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? He made sure that... You know what I mean? You know, he, he, he made sure that he didn't say nothing that can actually get him crossed up in the law. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he, he did it right. I mean, for what I heard so far. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's funny because um, we were just talking about this shit. I feel like, uh, damn, cause I just lost track of mine. We was just talking about something. Uh, fuck was we just talking about the other day with this shit? It was something relating to this, though, but like I said, I, like, you, you, you just said it. You kind of said it, Kumi. You was saying that, you know, sometimes niggas sitting there to see what he got on him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. like that could be the case. You feel right. me? Like, like Man, I, I, I hate to say this, man, but Kodak Black said he did one of the realest acts that I seen. He was in the back of the police car. They pulled him over for some pills. And they were sitting there for a long time trying to tow his car. He was like, can you go ahead and take me to jail? Like, hurry up and take me to jail. He said, we don't need to go to the station because I don't have nothing to say. So it's like, take me to jail or let me go. Like, I think we should start that, man. If you even go to the Invested uh, the interrogation room. You kind of wrong, like exactly. Like, Man, that's what I was saying. Listen, my big homie used to say, "Once you waive your right to speak, you damn near about to tell." <laughs> Once you no, waive your right, I agree with that. Nigga, big T Rock, nigga, rest in peace, nigga. Man, I used to really be on that time. You feel me? But yeah, this shit crazy, bro. I mean, like I said, this is the era of all this shit leaking, coming out. Uh, you know, we're media. We are one step ahead always. We're going to make sure, you know, we the right media too. Because we ain't going, like I said, I'm not stamping. I'm not co We're not sitting here on this flow going to entertain anything that's falsely and bullshit fake. You know, it was somebody earlier that... Oh, that's fake content. That's not thug. I talk to him every day, bro. Well, you talk to him in 2023, nigga. This 2015 interrogation, nigga. Uh, I don't know if niggas knew him in 2015, but you feel me? Like, it's a whole different ball game, bro. Like, so, you know, my man got the audio. He paid for the audio. He went through the right, you know what I'm saying, uh, channel to do that. And, you know, I got the screenshot to prove it because he even offered me for me to pay it. And for me to do it, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm just here to help him surface it, you know, get the message across, you know, hopefully it get picked up by other blogs. And, you know, it's 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 some value. It, 
you know, like, like I said, bro, like, you know, he not saying he snitch. I don't think nobody's stamping that he telling. I think people just curious to hear what he actually said in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And once people hear that, I think they'll decipher for themselves whether he told or not. You know, but it's not really up to us. Hey, Rock. So I, I think yeah. of, I think unfortunately, right? You know what I'm saying? You know, you got niggas that's gonna be for thug and niggas go that's gonna be against it. You know what I'm saying? For the niggas that's against him, regardless of that, they still go watch. I mean, watch how, watch how this come out. You still go have niggas trying to pick some kind of holes in that and trying to find. I mean, haters go hate, bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas still going to be trying to pick flaw. I mean, even even with the right there in their face, they still go try to find some kind of conspiracy to it, man. I mean, that's just the nature of the beast. If like for, As far as thug concern, man, I mean, right now at this moment, you know what I'm saying? You know, as a nigga that had been through what he even been, what he going through, nigga, the only thing you can do, nigga, is pay attention to the potential 12 nigga that's about to be in front of you, nigga, or not, nigga, and coming from up under that nigga and drowning out, nigga, whatever noise is coming on outside. Because a lot of these niggas is talking, wouldn't even know how to act, wouldn't know, wouldn't know the first thing to do, nigga, if they're under these circumstances. You know what I'm saying? They thinking they watching some Law and Order type shit or something like this, some old Hollywood ass shit. That nigga, this real life though. So the haters go hate, bro. Regardless though, man. I would just say that niggas, you know, this fight your case, nigga, and fuck what they talking about, nigga. Free thug, nigga. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, free thug, free thug, free thug. You got, you got some more for us, bro. Oh yeah, how about this? When they was trying to finesse him, like they was getting a little friendly, they joking about the music. Oh, let me turn this hey, the the police sound like fans. If I'm, if I'm mistaken, they sound man, groupied man, out. That, that sound like finesse. Like they trying to man, they sound groupied, they oh. sound groupied out. Ain't y'all some blood? Oh, I can hear y'all. Isn't it? But they fans. Yeah. Nice as hell. Here you go, right here. You still want to talk to us, man? Okay. I like him. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He's a new man. You got a fiance. How do you know me? Bye. Hip hop lives in ATL. How do you know me? Trying to pick up somebody and you got a fiance. That's slow down. She loves you. Explain that clip now. So basically, he's saying he he'll talk to him because he like her, and you know she like how you gonna shout me out in the song? Yeah, you got to put me in the song. And he went on like that's that's just a little clip, but uh, he he started singing to him like hey, you can't be thinking these folks your friend, man. Like hold on, wait, he started singing to him. Oh yeah, you ain't hear that? Hold on, let me. I could pull the long. <laughs> What the fuck? Hey, bro, this is what I'm talking about, bro. They can't see folks your friend and they using this in your Rico like. Yeah. Oh like, my god, bro. You gotta play that singing part, bro. Hold on, here you go right here. Uh, 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 yeah, little so what's right my name gonna be? Like, how would you shout out to me in the song? Miss I need to know. I told you it's going to be kind of slick, so it's going to be like a love song, but you're going to know, like... Give me a line. Give me some. I can't be in no love song, though. You got to keep me out of that one. Yeah, it's going to be like... A, you remember earlier you were saying you like the way I do something and change it? Like, yeah. I'm going to do that. It's going to be a love song, but it's going to be a breakdown part that you can... You know, Hip-hop lives in ATL. Right. He talking about me. Yeah. Yeah. Then they're going to go right there. 
So it will be bad. Yeah, but in song, you're going to be mislaid. Mislaid. So give me a line like mislaid is what? Um, <laughs> sexy What the fuck, nigga? Is niggas tripping, cuz? What the fuck is going on, man? Hey, they want to they want to get that put in a song. That nigga trying to fuck the detective, bitch. Nah, for real. Excellent. <laughs> uh, man, uh, hell no, cuz. Yeah, the nigga yeah. literally singing in the nigga uh, interrogation room. Don't do that. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That that I don't like that, bro. <laughs> Nasty oh, work. Man, I'm a the fact that he falling for that, he going with it. Like he gotta like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you want, yeah. Nah, he was just trolling. You know? Man, that shit. Crazy. <laughs> That's an ultimate deflection, man. man that shit crazy, cuz. <laughs> But I'm asking, like, no would niggas in this room do that, though? I mean, if it's taking a, if it's taking a mind off with a nigga in there, for shit, nigga, you know what I mean? I don't know. I mean, I mean, really though, nigga. So you gonna be, sing? Really you gonna sing be, for the? Uh, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not about to uh, sing for nobody. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I get. I get with this nigga. In his situation, you know what I'm saying? I can go along with he probably trying uh-huh. to do, you know what I'm saying? He probably trying to deflect, you know what I'm saying? And throw, you know what I mean? Throw them off the objective or whatnot, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, that's, I mean, that's how I'm interpreting that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not saying that's something I'm doing. I'm trying to, you know what I mean? Man, look, man, let's but get they, the fuck up out of this joint. They too groupied out for me. Y'all want to get rid of this song? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, <laughs> Oh. Hey, 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 bro. Hey, bro, you got to understand, man. That, you know, them police listen to music, nigga, just like everybody else do, nigga. They just, they be starstruck, nigga, just by the, by the purpose even being in the presence of niggas like that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Especially in them parts, in, in, in them country, you know what I mean? Like like in Atlanta, man, man come on, man. I, I, I can picture it. I don't got no baby. You said Tunji. nobody Uh-huh. No, I said, I said, I can, I can, I can picture the situation. though. I'm not saying that's what I do. With, I can vision, I can vision with it. I mean, that if if I'm reading that right, though, you know what I mean. I, I just feel like bro was was trying to deflect and throw them off the game, though. You said bring Tunchi up, right? Bro, oh, bring. Bro, oh, why y'all not friendly the group? What's going on? What you mean? Nobody raising their hands, nigga. No, nah, they. Uh, yeah, some people have just been standing down, bro. I've been bringing them up too. Some people ain't coming up. Yeah, yeah I can't bring nobody up, so y'all got to do it. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, man, these clips is quite interesting, man. I don't know what y'all think about this shit. This shit funny though. Niggas singing for it, but he, like I said, the D, the lawyer, the DA, them niggas is sounding fucking. The police, they sounded groupy, cuz groupy the fuck out, nigga. They want to get put in songs, say my name. They talking about Beyonce. They just bringing up all type of shit. Like, who the fuck cares, cuz? <laughs> like, y'all niggas going to arrest me or what, nigga? Fuck. Man, the average nigga couldn't even pay for thug time, and he doing all that with them. Like, for what, my nigga? He ain't, he ain't doing that with the regular dude off the street. But like, what happened to hate the police? Like, like, hold on, am I being detained? If I'm not, let me go on by my business. Bro. And if if you gonna, but the police, the they, they 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 black down there, right? I think the lady was black, and then uh, yeah, black and white. The dude was uh, white. But bro, what happened to hating the police? 
I guess the OGs or the people that's higher up, you can't be rich hating the police. So maybe that's a perspective. Thing. See, but y'all said different. Y'all got black police, like, you know what I'm saying? The black police, damn there. How can you hate your old, you know what I'm saying? So the people try to feel like, like as if they making y'all feel comfortable with somebody them being the police. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like we black, like you can talk to me. You feel me? Type shit. Yeah. No, I don't crib, but, but bro, ain't no motherfucking black. I ain't, I ain't seen nothing cause it, it's starting to be a little bit more black police officers now, like patrol, but like detectives and shit and shit like that. Nigga, them niggas is coming. White motherfuckers, Mexicans. Niggas ain't no niggas. Yeah, that DA yeah. black too. Um, doing the Rico. Say Rockstar, Trump. believe it or not, dog, them black cops will be the one that treats you worse than the one in white. No, 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 no. I could feel it, but I'm telling you the the mindset behind it by them being a po you feel me? Like, yeah. like it's more black police in the South than it is on the West Coast. That's a fact. I was yeah, watching. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That Alabama with that first 48, them niggas look young as me, nigga, 34, 35, 30, you feel me? Niggas is straight police, cuz I be like, what the fuck? That shit crazy. And then that's why them niggas be telling on that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, crib. They be feeling like they can talk to a nigga or something. Fuck that shit. Nigga, that shit tricky. I damn sure I ain't singing for a nigga, cuz fuck that. Lock me up, cuz. I don't even want to talk to you niggas. You niggas in here making fun of me now. Now y'all are setting my intelligence. Man, that's so true. That was true. That was true. They really had a second chance. Yeah, we oh, just heard it right now. We just played the clip. And would you say would you say that situation was was like a a, a creature a habit type situation? You know what I'm saying? If you're doing it this time, would you say it probably happened? And, you know what I'm saying? Maybe it's a nigga MO. I don't know. You want to answer that hip hop? You probably right. I mean, he, you know, some niggas know how to finesse the police. Like, I guess when you when you got money and you at the top, you probably got relationships with some people. Let you go for shit. You niggas know how to. They got that that talk game, but because I, I, I don't come from that. Right? No, no, I, no. Because I'm right there with you. Right? I I don't think that like. You know what I mean? That that don't that just don't sound like just some first time meet and greet type shit. You know what I mean? Some niggas done been in front of them damn detectives, nigga, multiple times, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Or you know maybe you know you know especially in that part of the world, you know some of these police bitches be on niggas' lines, especially when they when they when they celebrities or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? You no know, shit, you no know, they and all that. So it, it just don't seem like something that was just. Like, like that was just some spur of the moment shit. You know what I mean? Just seeing like, you know what I mean? That's like the nigga emo. You know what I mean? Or, or it happened multiple times. I can be wrong though. Nah, for sure, for though, for sure, for sure. Let me reset the room, man. For those who don't know, man, we definitely live right now. Smut Free TV, Hip Hop Trends Clubhouse. We got the Young Thug Interrogation Audio Leaks where Hip Hop Lives in ATL. Live and direct right here, right now. You understand me? Shout out to my sponsors, CouchPotatoBud.com. Shout out to Caviar Gold. You understand me? Make sure y'all stay tuned in. Y'all go to CouchPotatoBud.com and use my promo code SMUTFREETV. Get you 15% off all edibles, gummies, all that stuff. Wherever it's legal, sold in, in your state, you know what I'm saying? You can order it, get it right to your door. You understand me? Caviar Gold. You know what I'm saying? It's a weed brand. They got pre-rolls and moon rock jars of weed. Uh, you can get it wherever, whatever dispensary sold, you can go check out Caviar Gold, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, uh, we still locked in, man. Like I said, I got Hip Hop Lives in ATL in the building. You know what I'm saying? My boy Reese, Mr. Metro Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Doing his thing out there. And we got the Young Thug Interrogation Audio. We breaking it down clip by clip. Little clips. We we didn't hear about three clips already. Three four clips. Uh, quite interesting. Like I said, this is the real audio exclusive. Uh, this man went through the right channel, the proper handling to get it done. Get it. You know what I'm saying. And anybody can go get this. This is public information. You feel me? So, uh, 
Yeah, man. What else you got for us, Mr. Metro? Let me see what's happening. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, they done fed my boy. They done laughed and sung and all this shit. Like, they fed him? Yeah, I think one of like a jail sandwich or something like that. But man, all that shit is finesse. That's finesse, man. Let me see what we got. That's crazy. I'll tell you, I'll, let me just tell you, I didn't ever listen to rap. I just started listening to it. But I can tell you myself, the Southern rap, it's more like you can dance to it. Like the Northern, it's like too fast and too like. Rap. Yeah, well, Northern was like rap, rap. Here was like slang rap. You get to dance to it. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. So, you be coming up with words to the beat or something? Is that what you do? No, I. Can you do me on that again? So, do they come out with the beat first and then you make words to it, or do you come out with the words first and they make. Bro. Oh, they want the recipe. Huh? Bro, what the fuck is they talking about? I don't get why we doing all this talking. <laughs> I'm not listening. It's the and they use that nigga lyrics, but yeah, nah, break down. That shit crazy. Bro, they ain't tripping, cuz. I ain't gonna lie to you. At that point, it's like, hold on, am I detained? Can I go home? What we doing? Yeah. Why are we still talking? Why you want to know how I write? Hey, how I write a hey, song? In the back, hey, 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 you know what? It just seemed like this nigga Thug was probably resolved to the fact and, and it fact that he probably supposed to be sitting down for a minute. Man, I'm, I'm starting to think that too. Why, was, you know, why why this nigga is, is just engaging in it, in this phase right here, man. You know what I'm saying? Because like, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm completely understanding what you were born saying. Like, nigga, that's just, nigga, that's just getting it. What, nigga, bro, am I a detainer? What, that's the, let's get this shit over with. But it's in Thug just coming off to me as a nigga that's like, you know what I mean, man, I'm about to be here for a minute. Let me make let me make this shit, you know what I mean? What it is. He having fun with the shit, basically. You know what I'm saying? But it just seemed it still it still just seemed like it's deflection. You know what I'm saying? Because you know I ain't I ain't heard nothing that's really inter I mean, it's an interrogation because I mean they go definitely find some way to use that shit against him if you say the wrong shit. You know, they trying to get him to let his guard down and slip up and say, like, if he slip up and say anything in there, you know, in that case, that, that or in this case, man, you know, they go, I mean, it's going to be what it's going to be. But I don't know. I think he just, I think he was expecting this shit, man. Yeah, it's cat and mouse. Like, he playing, they playing, but at the same time, everybody got an agenda in that motherfucker. So. Right, right. Bingo. Yeah, all that. How you come up with your music, and uh, do you rap about your friends, and how you get your name, Young Thug? They slipping that in there, but it's like if your lawyer right there. Your lawyer gonna say, "Man, what 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 are you holding us for?" Like, Was his lawyer there? Okay, perfect. Nah, he see he and we ain't play that. He waved his uh, you know, the Miranda rights. And he said, "I'll talk to y'all." But he ain't say nothing. He ain't really. He spoke good on all his friends. He said, "Yeah, them boys there, they not gangbanging. This is a producer. This is my brother. I bought him a car. I signed him. You know, he ain't do what he could have did. This nigga just talking, man. He said more than I say, but he, you know." I mean, it's it's business. I mean, you basically, I mean, sound like he. I mean, you know. I don't know. I like. Are you getting the impression, kind of like he falling on, he falling on, he falling on the sword in the situation, so to speak? It sounds like, cause I mean, the prosecutor, they they did a motion so they could use this tape. So they they found something in this. That it's enough for them. They are gonna play this in front of the jury. I don't know what they gonna say, but you wouldn't have. It I don't see how. Side. I don't. I don't see how a layman ass jury. 
can possibly find some evidentiary value in it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just based on like we like 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 we we we, we streetwise though, you know what I'm saying? That the twelve he going in front of like I don't think they gonna be siphoning there like us unless, you know what I'm saying, it's painted a certain kind of way. You know what I'm saying? But listening like the the way they portray him, bro, in the media and if you listen to this to their it's like it's like it's two different people. You know what I'm saying? It's being depicted, you know what I'm saying, in in the media for how it sounded on this tape. You know what I'm saying? They sound like two different people. Uh, what what you think about nah. that? No, nah, no, nah. this is this is definitely uh, a light bulb on. I feel like for people that hear, like you know, and, and this is 2015, so you know, this is at the time he thugging to me. He like he coming up in this game, but he's still like halfway in, halfway out. Ain't no. Oh, this old. Yeah, this 2015. Oh, okay, my bad. I'm thinking this is. I'm thinking this some new shit. I'm thinking this nah, on this shit right here. Now this 2015, they bringing this up in this case, in this trial. Oh, okay, okay. It's about to come up. You know what I'm saying? They trying to use that, and they trying to use that. I think they only brought it up because they trying to tarnish, trying to insinuate if he's telling or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they really, um, like, like. I don't know if they can use it. Like, what, what other, like, you know? Because I'm not hearing nothing in there. That, you know, you the know. DA could create her own narrative. Like, she gonna say what her storyline is, and she gonna be sitting here like we doing. She gonna press play. Okay, you see this part? He was the, and try to tie that shit together. You know, but I think about what all this nigga really know, man. If, if Jeff was a rat or even Gunner, people talk about Gunner, and I was talking about him at first too. But if Gunner and Thug really told everything they they need that they know. Like it would be over with for half Atlanta. Like, Gunner really know the shape of that crew. My problem with Gunner is what he went along with is the saying, like, in like the word, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm familiar. I'm familiar with these plea deals and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's some shit that, you know what I mean? You know now. And, and, and I'll put this disclaimer out, like everybody's circumstance differently depending on how thick your skin in is and what you're ready to do. But like when I heard how he was, the, the shit that he had to say and recite and repeat in that courthouse, you know what I'm saying? That's the part I'm stuck on. You know what I'm saying? Like the acknowledgement that <laughs> that, that shit is a game. I couldn't do that, you know what I'm saying? Because if if, if 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 you signed on to a nigga and, and he's pushing one narrative that nigga that this ain't no game and, and you in open court agreeing and, re, and repeating that it is that's the part i'm on that's the telling part that i'm stuck on you know what i'm saying because you cooperated you know what i'm saying the killer nigga narrative that could have got it like that can be the that can could possibly be the nail in the coffin right there you know what i'm saying you cooperated with them the flip the narrative to to assist the state that that's the part i'm stuck on right there facts right but let me say this let me ask this though let's say jada kiss and uh and them niggas you know d block let's say it's a gang of niggas in new jersey that rep d block and they be at the stores and they be robbing niggas and selling weed and jada kiss and them know that and, and the DA asked Jada Kiss, is D Block a gang? And he said, yeah. He ain't saying that we in the gang. We the music part. But yeah, it's a gang of niggas to be, you know, uh, it made me wonder if Gunner saying, he might have said, why is it? Yeah, it's a gang of niggas saying that. But we, the music side, we ain't really part of that. I, you know, I would have said, you know, why is a click? We not a gang. The Blood Crip, GD, Latin King, that's a gang. You know. I think it's clear and cut that I think here is it's clear and cut. The DA on one hand is trying to paint YSL as a gang. Thug saying it's not a gang, it's a music company. You know what I'm saying? Gunner knowing what's happening. He know what the state is trying to do. He know what his nigga with with, with thugs uh with thug is trying to do. He he's familiar. He's a he's a defendant on the case. So he know what that means. But yet in order to save his skin, 
he went along and said what the district attorney wanted him to say, you know what I'm saying, which was to the detriment of his co-defendants, my nigga. That is, that is cooperation right there. You know what I'm saying? That is textbook cooperation because you went against the grain, my nigga. I mean, like, I get what you're saying, but in this case, you have a nigga that know full for him what they're trying to do and you and you know the significance of your saying that you know what i'm saying if he don't acknowledge that why it sells a game then the da don't have a case really i'm talking about on that part they don't really have a case on that because they don't have that kind of acknowledgement that's why the da and them leaning on him to get him to say that that is cooperation i don't think there's no way around it well let me ask you this what if uh own funk already said it what if duke already said it what if um i think all of those who said it is is guilty of it as well it ain't just gonna anybody like like it's like this like this is thug shit right why i sell they say why i sell thug shit right and like and you and i on the case like and, and, and i'm on your label you know what i'm saying and we get caught up you know what I'm saying? I'm going with the status quo. I mean, nigga, so it's like, it's like if you say, nigga, this, nigga, this is how we pushing. This is what it is, and I know that's what you pushing. And you know what I mean? I'm go, I'm go stand on that. You know what I'm saying? Period. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, anybody who went against the grain, you know what I'm saying, is guilty mm-hmm. of what I'm saying. It ain't just him. I, it ain't no, it ain't no pick and choose. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Um, they, they guilty too. For sure, for sure. No, for sure, for sure. I mean, man. I mean, for the record though, just to level with you, my yeah. nigga, I'm behind the walls right now, nigga. I could have been free, nigga, uh, almost 24 years ago, if nigga, if I would agree to tell on niggas who told on me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting out yeah. soon, but so, so I, I, I've been in this situation, so it's like, you know what I mean? When you in it, nigga, you gotta ride it out all the way, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or get the fuck out the car. That nigga knew what he was signing up for. So it's like, you know, I can't, I can't give a nigga a pass on something after I didn't sat down and did it all the way. You know what I'm saying? And really lived it. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been in this situation to an extent where I could have benefited off cooperating, <laughs> nigga. I didn't. Hey, so, you know I mean, the, you know the difference between you and him, though, Kumi. Speak on it. Niggas with money think they can get away with everything. That's bro. a fact. When when we ain't when we don't got a whole when we ain't got no bank accounts and all that shit full of money and fucking albums to sell and merch and all that old shit, nigga, we think a little bit different. Some niggas still do get caught up, you know what I'm saying, trying to go get some money or trying to change their life, you feel what I'm saying? X, Y, Z. But niggas like that, cuz like we always sit here and say, like, damn, bro, you got everything you wanted. Why are you even participating in this type of shit? Or you will hear a nigga say, Damn, bro, you rich as fuck, cuz you want to game bang now? Like, the game I bang agree. is just game banging. We doing this shit trying to get up out of this shit. You niggas got what we trying to get and trying to come into this shit. That makes no sense. So, I agree. Yeah. Young thug case, like, even in Young Thug case, bro, if you listen to these trials and watch this shit, like, a lot of this shit that y'all are hearing, it's like, bro, what the fuck was you even doing this Fact. close to this type of shit? Fact. Niggas trying to kill Lucci and call it the... I'm like, hold on. Like, bro, y'all you niggas posting shit, you rapping shit. Okay, cool. <laughs> they can't use niggas' lyrics on, on... You know what I'm saying? But, bro, you doing shit and think because, you know, you your rap style is different that niggas, they don't have somebody to, to break this Da Vinci Code, nigga. There's always going to be a nigga when you think you come up with a language or just like in jail, nigga. Niggas do come up with that side language, bro. That shit took me like nine months to understand that shit, nigga. Just how I took my time to sit down and understand the Mexicans when they doing that sign language, bro. Them niggas would get a whole sentence all right in front of your face, nigga. You wouldn't even know what the fuck a nigga just said. Right. So if if I if it took me nine months to do it, just imagine niggas that really want to know that, bro. Them niggas learning that shit in a month, a couple weeks. Yeah, my 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 thing is this, right? It's like we, we gotta we gotta hold niggas to what they. I'm just holding niggas to a certain standard, nigga, what they propagate, nigga. These niggas is they call themselves street disciples in the booth. You know what I'm saying? So it's like 
I don't expect them niggas to be like me. You know what I'm saying? They're not. You know what I'm saying? They, I, I don't expect them to be like a lot of niggas that I know. But, you know what I'm saying, in this case, you know what I'm saying, a lot of these niggas is getting off on cases, then going right back to the street, acting like nigga they, they did some Superman shit. So, basically, I'm just holding niggas to a standard. You know what I'm saying? You know, regardless, nigga, you supposed to roll that out, nigga, period, nigga. If you know what your niggas doing, nigga, you don't contradict your niggas. He contradicted his niggas. Gunna did, and whoever else did what Gunna did. You know Man, what I'm saying? Whole, you know, they, they all, they all that, whole, that whole posse did bullshit, bro. Yeah, okay. That, that, what that, I mean, I'm, I'm talking to whoever guilty. You know what I'm saying? It's just that Gunna name get mentioned. And most people ask the Gunna tell. Yeah, you I know, mean, the, my dad, know, the answer is the yeah. Big fish, <laughs> the, the, the big fish always be the ones at the top of the paper, bro. Yeah, for sure. You dig what I'm for saying? Sure. It's like, like you just said, like, Everybody played a part. Nigga can sit here and blame this nigga. No, y'all all played a part, bro. Everybody did something they wasn't supposed to do, bro. Just y'all okay. niggas not famous, bro. So we don't we don't have to have y'all names not in the tabloids and in the media because y'all just homies of this nigga, like. But the ones Man. like I think it only went as far as like Lil Duke, like cutting up super duper cracking and you know what i'm saying but you dumb close to this nigga like nigga see these see thug nigga gonna see you for sure like so yeah even if you get blamed for one or two charges i hear that but nigga that's kind of your responsibility they got your name in what 30 charges and yeah like, that's why i'm even saying if you're innocent like that's kind of on you that's why i ain't trying to defend on nigga. nah I'm hell no nah. hell no nah. i'm not my my pound of bull my pound bro anytime i got caught for something bro i just went yeah, my, once I realize they got me, got me. Okay, bro. Let me let me get whatever the lowest I can take. Get this shit out the way. I'm back to the streets. Hey, when I was fighting, when I was fighting this case right now in the county, my my nigga Boo from Big Block, my nigga was fighting this case, nigga. Every time this nigga came back from court, this nigga had a big ass tissue box full of transcripts and tape tape statements. Cause every everything them little niggas out the Big Block niggas was doing out there in San Francisco, nigga. That nigga was getting charged for everything that they that they did. Nigga, that nigga didn't that nigga didn't switch up, nigga, and, and get the goofy. That nigga, that nigga, in fact, he took a deal, nigga, to save a lot of niggas, and he out, he out, shit. That nigga out already. That nigga took a deal for nineteen years. He out on the street. We was both in the county. I left that nigga in two thousand and two. He free right now, nigga. On that nigga for you know he did it right, nigga. He he, he, he fell on the sword for that. You know what I'm saying? And this nigga had a record label. This was a this nigga this nigga was uh. Big Block, I mean, for y'all that's familiar with Big Block Records, nigga, I mean, that, that was a that was some real shit. Just like this YSL shit. You know what I mean? Them niggas was really out there stepping on shit out there. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, period. So it's like, it's it, it's it's the perfect analogy, nigga. You know what I mean? No excuse for them niggas. Yeah, I, I, think, I think this shit will wake up for everybody. You know what I'm saying? For the motherfuckers that... You know, should be that's in the rap game that's thugging. You know what I'm saying, like, bro, this is this is you know this is what not to do. <laughs> this is what not to do, <laughs> one on one. You know what I'm saying, but uh, yeah, man, shout out my nigga Hip Hop Lives in ATL and this motherfucker Mr. Metro oh, Atlanta. Man. You know what I'm saying, coming through, chopping it up with us. You know what I'm saying? Putting that shit out there. This is the man behind the Young Thug Interrogation Audio. Make sure y'all go hit that link up top. Subscribe to his YouTube. You understand me? Follow him on bro. IG. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, bro, you're going to be seeing a lot of him. He posts a lot for Smut Free TV. So, you know, we get the exclusive shit. So y'all know what's happening. Uh, Mr. Metro Atlanta, you, what, what you want? You got anything you want to holler, say, promote? Oh, now I got to shout out uh Smart Free TV Rockstar and uh you know as the case keep going it's going to be more and more stuff come out that discovery so you know we're going to try to get it first and do it the same way we did this man but shout out to y'all y'all follow me on here cuz I ain't I ain't got no friends on the clubhouse I just started this shit yeah and I'm finna check out man yeah this is first time all here you know you know how we do we always Popping niggas cherries over here, pause. <laughs> yeah, club. club I, mean, I, I just be hearing y'all shit. I don't really, I don't really play this out. But yeah, yeah, in. yeah. No, we locked in. We locked in. You already know, man. I appreciate you pulling up, coming to chopping it with us. You know what I'm saying? Anybody else got any questions before you go? Anybody want to holler? Yeah, I just subscribed to your channel, bro. 
It's 415 Kumi, bro. This is, I mean, and I followed you, man. All right, 100, bro. 100. Yeah, I added you too, so you got another All right. one, man. I don't know if I got to add y'all back, but I'm going to go through my shit. Yeah, definitely I'm add us back because we be trying to ping certain people in here and we can't ping them. If they don't add yeah, back, come man. fuck with us. Whatever you know, it's all good. You can just pop in here, whatever, man. We be talking about these hot topics. You feel me? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Let's do it, man. So y'all can uh, DM me on IG too, man. If y'all got some stories or something you want posted, but yeah, we're gonna turn up. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Mr. Metro Atlanta himself, man. Appreciate you coming through, brother. I'm out, one. For sure.